Hi, good day. I'm Yetunde, and today we're at Landmark Events where they're having the GT Food and Drink Festival. Fuck a knife or spoon. Which do you prefer while eating rice? Spoon. Fork. Um, a spoon. Eating rice, I like a fork. <laughs> I prefer a spoon, actually. Man, I always love the fork, you know. <laughs> it's, it's easier to eat with a fork. The fork, you know, it takes it all in, you know. The fork. Because it's easier. It's, it's, uh, it's, I think it's fine on the, on, on the, on the tongue. <laughs> I'd prefer a spoon. Minimal spillage. <laughs> I don't know, being a Nigerian, we are brought up with spoon. When I'm hungry, I'm not using fork. No, it's <laughs> spoon, no. <laughs> um, the fork and the knife thing was actually, I learned it. But I'm not, like, very good with it. So I use spoon. Preferably any time any day. Carrot. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a vegetable. A fruit? A vegetable rather, a vegetable, yeah. <laughs> oh, tomato. Is it a vegetable or a fruit? Or what? A carrot is definitely a vegetable. Yeah. I'll say carrot is <laughs> carrot is a fruit. But you can also use it as a vegetable like vegetable salad. Yeah. It's definitely a vegetable, it's not a fruit. I think it's a fruit. Say vegetable. The tomato is it's two sided. Some people say tomatoes are berries because of its chambers. But um, mostly because it's used for soup and stews, I would say, I don't know, it's it's two ways. Is it a vegetable or a berry? Yeah. Come chop TV. Your prestation in this. Can you differentiate between a cook, a caterer and a chef? I think a chef studies. A chef, the actually school of culinary and chef and all. Then a chef is the one that, uh, he wears a shorter hat and you know is he, he, pre, he present the food he kind of like arranges the food a chef went to school to study how to cook but a chef is more of a professional stuff the chef um chef cooks a chef works in your house caterer i think a caterer brings together a collection of chefs a caterer is um, a person that does massive cooking well, okay, Ketra, those who make us something. Let <laughs> me say the Ketra get the contract. And the Ketra is like the one that like kind of like serves the food and stuff. The Ketra is uh, <laughs> son of for one bear. <laughs> a Ketra brings food to your house. A cook can be, I can be a cook. I'm a cook, I cook my rice. <laughs> so. A cook is the one that cooks in the kitchen that wears the long, the long hat. I can say I'm a cook because I can actually cook anything at home. A cook cooks at restaurants. The cook, Abi. Okay, the cook cooks too. Which Nigerian tribe do you think has the best dishes? Uh, Delta now. I'm an Igbo girl, so I'll say Igbo. I would pick Igbo because they have different soup. Ijebus. Igbo tribe. I Igbo! Say. Because I like Ikokore. I'm not, I'm Igbo, but I love Ikokore. There is no dish that is like the Igbo dish. Ah, the Yorubas, of course. Yay! <laughs> Sometimes I think we, we are the owners of jollof rice or already. I'm sure I can say that jollof rice originated from the south. Yes, sir! <laughs> the Yorubas. Ah. I just know the Yorubas. I don't know. I don't have a reason. So we have the Egusi. We have the okra, you know. Okay, definitely have it. Yes. Rice and bread. Which do Nigerians consume more? Rice, definitely. I think rice, because I eat rice more, so rice. So yeah, definitely bread, yeah. Rice. <laughs> I think it's rice. Why? It's everywhere. <laughs> uh, rice, rice. Ah, they do both so. <laughs> It's just rice and bread, and that's why we're this big and yam and gari, you know. We do, I think we do both. What do you understand by a three course meal? A uh, three course meal has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A three course meal, I don't really know why you understand because I've not had any meal. <laughs> <laughs> Where you have your starter, you have the main, and you have the, the, the afters. I, I think they call it a dessert afterwards. Yes, a three course meal is a starter. A main course and a dessert.